The Ada County Sheriff's Office suffered a huge tragedy on Saturday night when Deputy Tobin Bolter was killed in the line of duty. He's the first member of the Sheriff's Office to ever be killed while performing his job. Last night at about 8.55 p.m., an ACO deputy made a traffic stop on a gray Chevy Suburban near Overland and Raymond in Boise. When he approached the driver's window, the driver shot the deputy and fled to fled the scene. Video shows that the deputy never even made it to the window. A citizen dialed 911 and performed CPR on Deputy Bolter, but he died Sunday morning at St. Alphonsus. And we're devastated to say he did not survive his injuries. He passed away moments before this press conference. After the shooting, the suspect fled the scene. Boise PD's Special Operations Unit caught up with the 65-year-old suspect near the corner of Roosevelt and Nez Pierce on the Boise bench around midnight. The suspect fired a weapon at officers. A BPD officer then returned fire, striking him. The suspect was then given medical aid and transported by ambulance to a local area hospital where he was pronounced deceased. In between these events, the Boise Police Department issued a code red, sent out via cell phones to alert people in the area. In this case, we were just encouraging people to uh, stay indoors and shelter in place, except for those that we made contact with directly to, uh, to evacuate from the area. No citizens were injured in all of this, but another Ada County deputy got hurt in a two-car crash near Amity and South Meridian Road while responding to the call. He's in stable condition. The BPD officer that shot and killed the suspect will be placed on administrative leave per protocol and the Ada County Critical Incident Task Force led by Garden City PD will take over the investigation. I am both angered and heartbroken at the same time. It's a heavy day for all of law enforcement as Deputy Bolter was 27 years old, but they do have counseling available. Even at the hospital, we uh, started to deploy our peer support group. Um, there are members of them that are in the building right now as we speak and have been visiting with deputies all night. There were a lot, a big gathering of deputies, so that was also helpful and healing. The Sheriff's Office realizes there will be so much outpouring of support for Tobin Bolter's family. They just ask the public to be patient as it'll take time to officially set something up. I'm your neighborhood reporter, Steve Dent for Idaho News 6.